which is coming. I feel confident that uh, we will stop them and we will expel them out. Not easy, but we have a decent force on the ground uh, to do it. Because eventually the Skolkan Alliance took all the Baltics already. They also took all the Poland and Czechia. So they are already in Germany. So there were several things uh, happening in the media. All Bavarian News put out an article on how the German federal government has offered free train rides to refugees and evacuees. For me, it's very important uh, that we have a good cooperation in this uh, critical phase of the conflict. And I will take the lead in communication with NATO uh, in case uh, Mr. Goldman is not available. Certainly glad to see NATO's presence here and the strong response. It is a big conventional war with a lot of explosions, with a lot of tanks, with a lot of uh, people running around and shooting. That might turn into a, a, a disaster which we want to avoid. Everything related to the prisoner wars, we will have them. We can also detain them and we're going to keep them in facilities. But I would argue it's better that they are alive in the prisoner war camp than dead out in the field. Maybe 10 years or 20 years later, we're all going to be able to live together anyway. You know? And so, hey, do we like war? No, we don't. And, uh, and I can assure you that, you know, it's, there's, it's, there's not, nothing beautiful about war. Thank you for attending today's Kittensee County press conference. Good afternoon, everybody. Come on, Gaugers. I'm coming all the way from Latvia, ladies and gentlemen. And it's been a long way for me, because eventually for the last several months, it's been a hard fight for us. As you all know, the Baltic countries, as well as Poland, has been occupied already by a Skokan alliance, as well as they are in Czechia and in Germany already. So all the remnants of the, the Latvian force that we have is gathered here as part of uh, the NATO task. The half of the mechanized brigade are actually Germans, and uh, we have more than 10 nations within the brigade. The war is coming, and effectively, it's going to be a bloody war. It is not what we want to, but eventually we will defend Germany, and we will expel the Skokan Alliance out. With the force we have gathered, this will take around two weeks, and the Kittensee County will be able uh, to return to their homes and uh, be ready uh, to start, you know, living a normal life. We encourage everyone to actually, you know, move out to the Nuremberg where you're going to be in safe uh, place. We understand that some NATO personnel have identified what they believe to be fake social media accounts posing as NATO soldiers. Do you consider this to be a large threat and why is it so easy for people to pose as NATO online? The only thing that I can encourage everyone on the Kittensee County is to follow the official media of the county and the local news. That's where they're going to have all the, the, the latest news and, uh, uh, and actually effectively true. Uh, so can we expect war disasters now that NATO soldiers are here? You can expect war. And have you seen Second World War movies? Well, that's what you're gonna get. So civilian casualties are okay? They are not okay, but they might happen, yes. Don't get down, don't get down.